Geeks. Welcome to episode six of our second season here at uh, Bashley uh, in the ABC Journeyman. This is our third club in the Journeyman. And uh, last season, well, the half of the season that we had was pretty dramatic. Went down to the last game of the season and we stayed up by winning the relegation playoffs. So I said to you, I'm going to completely strip out the team and start again. Have we done that? Well, let's uh, have a look and find out. And we're going to be playing in the FA Cup in this first game of the season. Right, folks, yes. So it's FA Cup first preliminary round extra something uh, against Ashington, who are at the same level as us, but in a uh, adjacent division. So it will be interesting to see how we get on there. They've got this badge. We've got that badge. I don't think either of the badges are real. And there we go. So this is uh, how the pre-season's gone, and you can see one thing that has happened is we've won a couple of games. Yes, we were playing teams that were um, down below us or around about us, but we're scoring goals, and look at the goal scorer here. Yeah, he's still here, he's still at the club. Richard Knoll is still at the club. Hat-trick. Hat-trick. Oh no, there's two. And then another two. So we are we getting goals from Richard Knoll. And if, if that continues at the same level, I'm going to be a very, very happy camper. Obviously, based on that, it means maybe I haven't changed things quite as much as I said I was going to do. And that is entirely what's happened. So let's have a look at the transfers in and those ones who have gone out. I think the first thing to say is that not everything has been completed transfer-wise. So you can see there is only one out here, which is uh, Jorge Oregonardly. He's gone out on loan to Tavistock. Um, so that basically tells us maybe we've got enough at the back. So I'm going to just show you the release players, and it is a, a treasure trove of players. Look at this, the likes of James Lewis, Highland Guest, Tuppen. Uh, uh, Joyce, the list is in of Vernon Baker. There's a lot of players in there that uh, made that first team. But the, basically, there was a lot of crud in this team, and we needed to clear it out. And what we've done, actually, I think, is we've kept the quality, got rid of all the rubbish, and that gave us a little bit more to throw around and improve the squad. So, transfers in. Well, actually, this started right at the end of last season. The first player to come in <laughs> the first player to come in was Joe Neal, who was actually, I thought, a decent uh, striker. Um, but, unfortunately, we signed him in, I thought, until the end of the season. It turned out it was the end of the season we were in. So, it, it was the opposite problem to the one we had in the, the previous club, wasn't it? Um, so... Yeah, he went back about a week later, which was a strange one. But yeah, it didn't didn't work out. Uh, but we did in bit of bring in Baden Copley, and this was a loan until the end of the season. Now he gives us a lot of options. He's a two and a half star player. He can tackle really, really well. He's in this. He can play in this ball winning midfielder role. Good tackling. Good teamwork, reasonable positioning, and very good work rate. And I think all of that together tells me he's probably going to be an effective player in that. He can also play at the back. Uh, problem there is his marking and heading uh, are, well, his heading's pretty atrocious, but he has a, has a jumping reach of 13. But So I think that is a good good sign to have him. It's basically it's from um, Swindon Super Marines, who were, who were relegated last season, but he was one of the better players there. Next up in on loan is a, a player to give our right side a little bit more, um, uh, a, a little bit more uh, structure and and and, and backup, uh, and this is Mushahit Koze, um, who isn't really rated by my staff, but I don't know. I I don't think it's he's a, he's a terrible player. I think he's he's got much of what he needs he's not that fast but he's not ridiculously slow but he is pretty good on the ball he can dribble crossing is is acceptable and he can pass the ball as well vision isn't great uh, i don't understand why vision isn't maybe more required for someone who's supposed to cross but um apparently it's not and reasonable work rate as well strength is terrible so i'm hoping he can be an okay player he's had a 
a good good enough start and he is going to be playing because we've got an injury to our first team player on that side so that's good we all know this man alexandros nikolau we got him back really happy about um getting him on loan again from taunton i think he was an important player last season links up well with the other player on the right on the um the more sort of uh, the faster player in there he just kind of provides that that strength that power with the strength of seven to um you know to lay the ball off and, and create chances and uh, so hopefully he'll have a good season big signing here Alex Gleason had him on loan last season and I kept saying he was he's the creative spark that basically makes the team tick when he's in the team we play much much better and he he got released from his club put an offer an offer in and we're only paying 70 quid per week for him I think it is a worthwhile signing so really happy to get him in on a permanent that's the first permanent signing that we've talked about in fact that's the only permanent signing we've actually um actually brought in because we can't afford and that's bizarre we can't afford any anybody new um I, I i'm not entirely sure i think it was just the 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 um transfers we've made i kind of i kind of worked it out and I thought we we were about seven hundred pounds a week, uh, and then I looked at our uh, transfer. I looked at the finances, and it said we were actually at the budget of of a thousand. So I guess it's all like the little extras that I didn't take into account. So unfortunately, uh, we we're not able to do too much uh, there. So David Lockhead is the next player in another player in that sort of def defensive midfielder role who can play both at the back and slightly in front of that so <coughs> we got a couple of people who can do that and I think these guys are going to be important maybe not so effective tackling but he's got a little bit more when we come to sort of passing the ball so uh, he, he's perhaps a little bit more of a forward thinking player and other player is Jason Fielding who can play either on the left side or the right side He's an okay player. I think he'll do do it. Will do all right for us on loan from Yeovil. We've still got one space to fill uh, with the loans, and we need basically a winger, and that's that's what we're looking for. We need a striker as well, and and a winger. But yeah, there we go. But we have completely stripped out the rest of the team, and you can see our under twenty ones is basically got like five people in it, uh, and most of these have been bought up from our um, uh, under 18s So. You know, pretty pretty happy with some of these guys. I think they're ready to make a step up, and they will be playing an active part this season. But I'm hoping now we've got a formation. Now we've got some, I think, some decent loan signings in um, who are going to be playing regularly. Uh, I'm hoping that this side is going to be better than 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 it was last season. We're still predicted to finish in the playoffs, but I think we'll we'll do a little bit better. So the likes of Frankie Monk, he signed a contract. Richards Noel, he's back. Dida, Waldridge, Rob Holland in goal, all signed a, a new contract. Henry Arnold is he hasn't left yet, so he's still here. Um, the likes of Frankie Taylor, but you'll see a lot of those kind of bit part players that weren't really involved but were paid a lot uh, have moved on. So um, yeah, let me know what you think of this. This team, obviously, Vic Vivaldi Kiame is the big star who is out injured at the minute. He's going to be out for a couple of months, unfortunately. So it's all up to Mushakit Kose to make the difference. But as you've seen, we have been doing well. We've been scoring goals. And what I'm hoping now is that we can start stopping conceding goals. Should we go and play a football match? So, team that we've got, Rob Holland in gold, Waldridge, Dida, Dida, Copley, Fielding across the back line, Kose and Monk on either side with Keeney in the middle, uh, Gleeson just behind the front line of Richard Knoll and Nicolau. Exciting times. I really, really think that we can um, have a much, much better year this time round. Looks like the front two are really working together well. I think another season together, I know I said I would not do it, but... Look how we're starting. Nicolau here taking the corner, and it's uh, it's cleared out. Where is my? Where is where is any defensive player there? 
that I think I need to sort those corners out because that, that's a little bit problematic. That's a lovely ball through, all from the corner, and well, Lewis Leach takes the lead, but what? I, it's a bad setup on that corner. There was just nobody there. It was just open to the counter attack. Definitely need to have a look at that. One nil down, but not doing too badly. Well, it's cleared. What's this person on this side running really slowly? It's Leonard. Oh dear, that was a terrible pass. Yes, Fielding. This is one of the new guys showing us showing us what he's made of. So we've got to half time. Um, it's pretty even, other than the score line. Kearney, uh, our midfield young midfielder, has got an injury, so we're going to have to do something here. Uh, he's got a foot injury, and I think we will take him off because you do want to have a. I mean, we've got Lockhead who can go in there. That's probably the better, the better player, and we'll see how that works. We've also got James Barlow as well, but he's a he's a youngster who's come through our youth team. A lot of people interested in him. He can play on the wings. He can also play in Gleason's role as well. We have got Mark Thomas as well, who can play on the wings. Uh, and also up top. Um, we are a little lightweight up top, in all honesty. Right, come on. It's been okay, but I want more in the second half. Is this a, is this a highlight? It's a lovely ball over. It's Richard Knoll. He's through. Well, at least he got it on target, and it was a, a more of an a, appropriate power behind it, but... We feel I feel we should be ahead, or, or at least even, not ahead. Cartwright with the corner. Oh, it's a bloody penalty. Who is that? Musha hit Kose, leave, oh, knocks the player down. It's not been bad, not been bad, but the last thing we want to do is just put ourselves in a, another sort of bad run at the start of this season. Again, look at the shots we're having, but we're not seeing the highlights, are we? Leonard here. Ball in. Oh, it's, it's 3 0. <laughs> Apparently, we don't know how to head the ball. Who was that? It was Waldridge, who was the, the player I actually thought was okay last season. I mean, 3 0, looking at this XG, feels it feels a little harsh, but. Thankfully, it's the FA Cup, so it's not the end of the world. Nicolau puts it in, and again, it's out. This time, Monk's got it. Are we actually going to see something? <laughs> it's Kose, and uh, he gets himself a uh, a goal on the volley. It's, it's a bit late, surely, but good to see us actually putting the ball in the net. It was nicely done. Let's just have another look at that, because this was a beautiful ball put in, and there was... I mean, it, yeah, it's a lovely finish. It really was. Well, a couple of changes. Uh, Frankie Taylor's on for uh, Baden Copley, and Fielding is off, and uh, Arnold is on. So just a few changes at the back here. Here's Taylor. He goes long. I'm not so certain that's the greatest ball in the world, but we'll see what, what comes of this. It's a nice clearance, and we have picked that one up. Here's Arnold going long again. You'd expect nothing else. McAllister. I oh dear me. Lockhead. Come on. Dida. That's cleared. And we just it just looks like this is coming back for a goal, isn't it? Or something. It'd be, it'd be awesome if it's not if not a, not a goal for us. But oh, look at that! It's a lovely, <laughs> lovely cross and finish. It's four one. But I mean, you can't do much about that. That's absolutely gorgeous. How have we lost this one four one? I mean, they have been epically good in front of goal. Okay, well, not necessarily the result we wanted, um, but. I don't know. The performance was okay. I'm not. I mean, gave away a penalty, but you look take the penalty out of it. Probably XG wise, you know, the quality of chances was pretty similar. Um, didn't see too many highlights for us, but looking at the chances we had, 
yeah, I'm, I've got a bunch of them on target. I think 4-1 is a massively, massively harsh scoreline. Uh, but we probably need to do better in the next match. Let me know what you thought about that. I thought that was a funny old game. Not really highlighting the qualities of, of anyone in the team, really. But we were creating some chances. Defensively, I don't know. Conceding four goals never feels that good. But there were a couple of them were hard to know what we could have done about them. So, we're out of the FA Cup. I imagine oh, that's not what I need Kearney out for three to six weeks. And we get £375 for that. So, that's pleasing. My worry is that this is something that the... Be competitive in the FA Cup. That was That is all we needed to do. I mean, losing 4-1 is competitive, isn't it? Right. Well, we're we're doing well in every other way, so that that's got to be pleasing. Let's have a look how the season is going to start. We're going to start against the Bristol MFs um, away from home. We'll we'll probably try and settle into the season a little bit. I mean, I think we our preview is that we should be finishing mid table, but the board don't think that. Uh, and Bristol MFs are, are, are thought they're going to be. Um, bottom of the table it doesn't seem to make any sense at all this 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 whole thing so we'll see what happens i i don't know it could be it could be good could be bad god knows but we're going to come back i think uh probably for a home game i think home game against wellington who performed very well last season and we'll see how we do it in in that match and that'll give us a good chance to see um us with this new team new new tactic and hopefully a new set of results, and hopefully we'll be kind of sitting in mid table and not feeling too bad. But it could be a, it could be anything really. Anyway, folks, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.